Today I have a special guest with me, Dr. Deepen Sinha. What more? How do I introduce him to you? He is a scientist. He is an entrepreneur. He is a social worker. He runs a charity, and much more. Dr. Sinha, welcome to Vision Television. Thank you, Pranav. Thanks for having me. I'm really pleased to be here with your talented team. It's such a wonderful. How do I begin? You, Dr. Sinha, began his did he did his engineering in India at IIT Kharagpur. Then he did his masters in US and then went on to do his PhD. He went on to work with AT&T. Then the company spin off, and then he worked for Bell Labs and Lucent, and then. The most amazing thing happened to him in what you call in when when he set up 2003 yeah. 2003 right. when he set up ATC ATC is generally understood to be air traffic control but never mind this ATC is even beyond that tell right. us how ATC happened sir so it is actually uh, the full name is ATC Labs so this uh, has been uh, in some way a continuation of my work at Bell Labs. I worked in audio technology research for several years and around 2003 when the company was going through some transition I thought that instead of doing another job maybe I want to really explore my future vision and my dreams and pursue setting up my own company that will give me one uh, flexibility to do the things that I want and also uh, eventually it ended up giving the flexibility that I wanted in terms of traveling back and forth between India and US. <laughs> Uh, many years ago, I said that my ideal life is that I spend two two week in U.S. and two week in India, and in some way, this company is allowing me to almost do do that. <laughs> and you are saving few, what you call sunlight time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe daylight, allow, daylight time. Daylight time. Daylight time. You are saving few daylight time <laughs> as well right. while you travel from India to U.S. Yes. and the other way around. Right. Right. Yeah. You started this company in 1993. Uh, two, 2003. 2003, Three, sorry, to be I, precise. I your pardon, you started right. this company in 2003. Right, right. And before that, you have been in the US and you have already almost 20 patents or cup patents. Yeah, actually about 28 uh, uh, right now. Yeah, amazing, course, amazing. Right. How has been that journey from IIT Kharagpur to 20, 28, 29 patents that you have applied for or you are in the process of getting? Right, right. it has been a, a, a wonderful journey. I mean, uh, I, I, I feel I've been truly lucky and blessed in, in terms of some of the breaks I've gotten, but also uh, the, what it has boiled down to is trying to pursue uh, a vision. I mean, what, what, uh, you need to have a vision for your life and you need to pursue that. So I always, when I, when I was working with Bell Labs, I always thought that I'll end up doing this thing, setting up a company uh, that will allow me to do my research work on one side and also do some of the social work that I wanted to do and also in terms of reconnecting back with India. So, so that's how the ATC Labs evolved. And uh, it has, uh, the, in this we do some very cutting edge audio and video technology research work, including in the Noida Center that we have set up in India. A Lot of uh, US companies come here and do like what's called body shopping, that you hire engineers to implement some software or optimize software. But we actually do a lot of research and development in India because the talent exists here and of course also in US. So the team that is here ends up doing the cutting edge research that it should do because the people have the talent to do that. So that's the vision of ATC Labs, that we go from core research all the way to final products. If I may recall a name, Dr. Bose. Right. You are also working on sound technology. You're, I mean, right. The jargons are... Right. too big high sounding to memorize and to know about them but they are really very cutting edge technology as you have said right do, right, do right. we do we see another dr bose in terms of dr dipen sena uh, with 20 already 20 patent in his name well i wouldn't have the temerity to suggest that i'm anywhere <laughs> close to dr bose i mean he's truly a giant in the field of audio but of course he he's somebody we all take uh, inspiration from and we all bow our <laughs> right <laughs> bow in so maybe uh, if I can achieve uh, a fraction of that, maybe I'll be I'll be happy in terms of what I can contribute to the audio technology and the audio field. So. How has been? I mean, somebody who went from India, who studied in IIT Kharagpur, right. and went and did wonders in in United States of America. How has been this journey for you as an individual, apart from the 
successes and the study and the and the professional successes that you achieve so it has certainly uh, truly been very rewarding and i really am, am indebted to two countries uh, the support the and education that i received in india as well as the support and opportunities i received in the us so so if somebody asks me where your loyalty lies i always like to describe myself as somebody having split loyalties in in a good way that i actually mean well for both the countries both uh, us and india uh, india is of course my uh, motherland and this is where i got my breakthrough uh, i mean the poor taxpayers of india really paid for my education in iit back in uh, 1986 when i graduated from iit kharagpur the tuition was like 200 rupees a year not not even a month so getting a world class education for 200 rupees a year uh, you can see the kind of sacrifices that the the taxpayer or the public of india made to make my education possible and then when i went to the us i kept up getting the support from one mentor after another and the breakthroughs in uh, in my university and also also in bell labs the research mentors they really uh, uh, helped me move forward and uh, realize my potential so i feel that i have really gotten a lot from these two societies and two great nations and in fact last several years the two countries are coming together so that gives a lot of pleasure to a person like me that we have we we are connected to both these uh, our motherland india as well as uh, us so so as an individual it has been uh, rewarding and challenging there have been a lot of challenges i'm not saying it has been without challenges but over time it has really shaped me the two country experience and i i feel it has made me a better person in many it's ways it's such a wonderful feeling when right. you when you express your sensitivity towards right. the 200 rupees when you have to pay for your education right, right. and the subsidy that government pays uh, right. paying for the, all the iits right. and you still remember at this right. uh that is advanced stage or right. at, the, at this uh, very senior right. level and the mentoring that happened in USA right. when right. you were with Bell Labs right. everybody knows on the earth right this is the place if right. you want to do cutting edge technology research right. this is the place and right. Right. how right. has been your journey during the bell lab days so it was excellent i was uh, really uh, lucky to work with some uh, truly great people for example the the co researchers in the field of uh, audio and speech uh, people like uh, uh, nikhil jain vishnu atal who are of indian origin but who are at bell labs and also uh, true uh, giants in the software area like uh, uh, ken thompson who was the inventor of unix and uh, I, uh, you you walk in the hallway and you know, run across somebody who for example invented the c language or who was the pioneer of uh, speech recognition so working with some some of these truly great researchers that really opened my mind and challenged me to do some of the work uh, that they ended up doing and also uh, giving me a feeling that we need to be innovative to always be full of new ideas as we progress through our career it does not matter if you have worked 20, 10 years 20 years or 30 years but you always need to look for new ideas and be uh, sense uh, be careful about that be sensitive aap sun rahe hain तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो पे इस वक्त हम लाइव जा रहे हैं तरंग डिवोशनल रेडियो पे इस वक्त हम लाइव हैं आप हमारे विजन टेलीविजन स्टूडियो में आप सुन रहे हैं डॉक्टर दीपेंद्र सिन्हा जी को और हम फेसबुक पे भी लाइव हैं और यूट्यूब पे भी लाइव हैं डॉक्टर दीपेंद्र सिन्हा आपकी जिंदगी गोंडा यूपी के एक कस्बे गोंडा से शुरू हुई डिस्ट्रिक्ट है आज right, वहाँ right. से आपकी क्या यादें हैं आप ऐसा बताया जा रहा है कि आप हमेशा कोशिश करते हैं जब भी आपको वक्त मिलता है आप गोंडा में right. जाते हैं और वहाँ एक चैरिटी भी चलाने की आप एक मुहिम आपने शुरू की और बहुत सारे लोग आपसे बहुत प्रभावित हो रहे हैं तो गोंडा से तो हमारा हमेशा से बहुत ही प्रेम रहा है वहीं से हमारी लाइफ शुरू हुई एंड लाइक वहाँ के गवर्नमेंट इंटर कॉलेज से जहाँ से हमने ट्वेल्थ किया इनफैक्ट जब हम वहाँ आई गए थे नाइनटीन में तो उस, उस साल गोंडा डिस्ट्रिक्ट से कई साल तक कोई भी आई में सेलेक्टेड नहीं हुआ था स्टूडेंट तो जब हमें वो अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली आईटी जाने की तो उसके लिए हम गोंडा के लोगों को बहुत ही आ, और अपने पेरेंट्स को के बहुत ही आभारी हैं तो हमें हमेशा जब भी यूएस में थे तो ये आइडिया था कि हमें वापस रिकनेक्ट होना है बीच में कुछ समय ऐसा आया जब हम दो तीन साल तक वापस नहीं आ पाते थे जब हमने अपना करियर शुरू किया था आ, तो धीरे धीरे फिर एक बार ए टी लैब स्टार्ट किया तो यहाँ इंडिया में जब डेवलपमेंट सेंटर स्टार्ट किया तो दैट गेव मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रिकनेक्ट विद गोंडा तो गोना में समय अभी हमारा काफी काम चल रहा है वो आ, हमारे फादर की स्मृति में आर एन सिन्हा फाउंडेशन चैरिटी शुरू की है जो उनके विलेज से पहले काम शुरू करके 
काफी अच्छे अच्छे काम कर रही है जैसे टॉयलेट सभी उस विलेज में जहां ऑलमोस्ट जीरो टॉयलेट थे अभी करीब 25 परसेंट फैमिलीज के पास टॉयलेट हो गए हैं इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन हो गया है जिन जो गरीब हैं जिनके घर नहीं हैं घर बन रहे हैं उनके मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट का और उनके ट्रेनिंग का तो वो वो सब काम हम लोग वहां करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और अब एक काम अभी रिसेंटली और शुरू किया कि गोंडा में अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट हमारे गाँव में अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट की बहुत प्रॉब्लम थी तो एक इंडस्ट्रियल यूनिट भी हमने वहीं शुरू किया है ऑलमोस्ट प्रॉफिट के लिए नहीं बट उसको जो एक बहुत अग्रेरियन एरिया है उसको इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया में कन्वर्ट करने के लिए तो वो एक प्रयास भी चल रहा है तो फाउंडेशन का काम उसके साथ ये जो हमने अपनी फैक्ट्री की एक सब्सिडी स्टार्ट की है नौबस्ता इंडस्ट्रियल प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एन जो नौबस्ता इज द नेम ऑफ द विलेज तो वो यहाँ पे वो काम भी कर रही है आप सुन रहे हैं तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो और हम लाइव इस वक्त है तरंग डिवोशनल रेडियो पे भी यू कैन रीच एस बाई फोन एट नाइन वन एट जीरो सेवन सिक्स फाइव वन फाइव नाइन सेवन एट लॉग ऑन टू आर वेबसाइट एट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट पी एम आई पी एल डॉट इन एंड क्लिक तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो एंड तरंग डिवोशनल रेडियो यू कैन ऑल्सो डाउनलोड आर एप फ्रॉम गूगल एप प्ले स्टोर इफ यू एंड्रॉइड फोन यू कैन लिसन टू तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो एंड तरंग डिवोशनल रेडियो एंड वी आर कैनिंग दिस वंडरफुल इंटरव्यू विद डॉक्टर दीपेन सिन्हा He holds almost 28 patents, or in the process of getting the patent for 28 intellectual property patents in United States of America. He runs a charity in India. He runs a ATC company in New York and also in New Jersey, in fact, and also in Noida around uh, Delhi in the NCR region of Delhi. Dr. Sina, your mother, Pita Ji, ka apne kya inspiration raha jo apko. आज भी अपने घर से अपने गांव से इतना जोड़ के रखता है इतनी व्यस्त जिंदगी के बाद भी आप अब समय निकाल पाते हैं कहते हैं जी अमेरिका गए तो दूर देश चले गए और फिर अपनी जिंदगी अपने हम वतन को याद करना भी मुश्किल होता है क्योंकि भाग दौड़ की जिंदगी में ये भी एक बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है लेकिन आप उसको भी उतनी ही अहमियत दे रहे हैं जितना आप अपने एक पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन में और एक पेटेंट के लिए आप जितनी जद्दोजहद करते हैं उतना ही आप एफर्ट लगाते हैं अपने गांव के इस चैरिटी में भी राइट right, राइट right. तो हाँ आपने ऐसा क्वेश्चन पूछा कि उससे आंख में आंसू भर आते हैं हमारे पेरेंट्स का बहुत ही अच्छा इंस्पिरेशन रहा है हमारे पेरेंट्स बहुत ही वेल एजुकेटेड पेरेंट्स थे हैं मतलब हमारे पिताजी अनफॉर्चुनेटली 2011 में नहीं रहे उनको ब्रेन कैंसर की डेडली डिजीज ने खा लिया लेकिन वो हमारी लाइफ में बहुत अच्छे इंस्पिरेशन रहे वो इलाहाबाद यूनिवर्सिटी के बहुत ही ब्रिलियंट स्टूडेंट थे और एक अच्छे स्टूडेंट थे जिसको बहुत लोग इनकरेज कर रहे थे कि आप खुद ही विदेश चले जाओ लेकिन वो सब छोड़ के फिर वो वापस गांव पे गए और वहीं बसे और पूरा जीवन उन्होंने करीब चालीस साल गाँव में बिताया और हमने जो बचपन में जो हम लोगों ने देखा कि छोटी छोटी समस्याओं को गाँव की छोटी छोटी समस्याओं में इन्वॉल्व होकर वो जैसे लोगों की मदद कर रहे थे तो उससे वो अपने में ही एक इंस्टीट्यूशन थे तो जो फाउंडेशन हमने शुरू की वो उनके इंस्पिरेशन से और जो हमारी ये अभिलाषा थी कि हम वापस अपनी जन्मभूमि से जुड़ जाएं उसको लेके शुरू की और इसमें हमारे माता जी का भी बहुत अच्छा इंस्पिरेशन रहा वो अपने में एक बहुत अच्छी एंटरप्रेनर हैं उन्होंने गोंडा में एक कॉलेज शुरू किया है नारी ज्ञान स्थली जो सडनली कहीं से भी एक धूल भरी जमीन से लेके अब एक अच्छा डिग्री कॉलेज शुरू हो गया है जिसको वहां पर मानक माना जाता है स्टैंडर्ड माना जाता है गर्ल्स एजुकेशन के लिए गर्ल्स हायर एजुकेशन के लिए तो उनकी वो अपने माता पिता दोनों की लाइफ को देखते हुए और जो हमारी ये इच्छा थी कि हम अपनी जन्मभूमि से जुड़े रहे उन्हीं उसी को लेके ये फाउंडेशन शुरू की आनंद सिन्हा फाउंडेशन डॉक्टर सिन्हा एटीसी बिल एटीसी लैब व्हिच इज वर्किंग इन इंडिया एंड आल्सो हैज अ हेड ऑफिस इन यूएसए व्हाट आर द काइंड ऑफ कटिंग एज टेक्नोलॉजी दैट यू आर वर्किंग इफ एट ऑल यू वांट टू राइट राइट आई विल लिटिल बिट so or this get, gets into little bit jargon so i apologize if not all the audience understand that but we believe that we have the most cutting edge technology in the area of audio processing and compression so this allows us to do a number of things build uh, products for broadcasting uh, build uh, products for two way communication but our core strength is that we believe that we have the most accurate and most detailed model for audio uh, the, the pro- uh, audio production and audio perception how how human ear perceives the sound so so utilizing that core know how we have built this suite of products some of which uh, i believe are being used in the broadcast that we are seeing today as well 
So, so that's our core strength. Uh, this also gives me an opportunity to say thank you to Dr. Sina, Dr. Deepen Sina and his team who had made this possible, the Tarang online radio that you have been listening worldwide from California to London to Delhi to Bombay to Calcutta, Madras to Singapore and Sydney and, and all the cities in between. This is all courtesy Dr. Deepen Sina and his wonderful team who has installed, who has been our technology partner for in the for the broad Tarang online radio worldwide and Tarang devotional radio. Dr. Sina, I have no words to say thank you to the wonderful team that you have. But how many channels that you have? I assume that you have uh, run over, I um, mean, developed over 100 uh, radio stations in India. Mm -hmm. And how has been that journey? So it has been uh, very interesting when we started. Uh, initially, uh, what the technology we were de developing, we were mostly deploying it with customers in the US. But around 2011, 2012, we started exploring the local market uh, in, in India. So it was very interesting. Uh, at that time, if you say that this thing is actually made, made in India, that was almost considered a negative. <laughs> People had the expectation that something jo videshi hai, bahar se hai, wo hai better. Hai. So, our sales team advised us that this is a made in India product. Although we, we were beginning to make those products in India. So, but over time, I see a gradual or definite change in mindset. Maybe driven by some of the initiatives that our government have now in terms of making India, etc. Now, people are beginning to look at Indian technology and Indian products in a more positive sense. So, now our technology is moving actually much faster than it was a couple of years ago when we were f facing this difficulty that if you say something is produced in India or if it's a new brand that's perceived as an in Indian brand, then that does not get the same value as a foreign brand. Although we are equally a US brand also. But here initially we went the, with the story that this is a Indian brand and that was not so uh, palatable back three, four years. But now the view is changing and we are moving much faster because of that reason. But then you already had pioneered in U.S. market right, and you right. worked with Sirius right. in the, uh, Radio, right. which is the most biggest radio the biggest, uh, uh, broadcasters in, right. in uh, USA and Canada. Right. Right. How right. has been that experience? How did you break into that, that strategic market? Because then right. we are talking about multi-million dollar business. So, uh, so uh, once again, uh, I think it was both a combination of the strength of our technology as well as uh, some people, uh, the satellite radio was more experimental, open to new technology compared to the terrestrial radio. So they were much quicker to adopt some of the things or they were th thinking in a direction that uh, allowed new technology to be deployed uh, quickly. So, so that was definitely a very, very good experience and it gave us the confidence to then branch out in international markets such as India at that point. What is your tie-up with Cyrus Radio? So they are our uh, biggest customers and they deploy a lot of our technologies, uh, audio processing technology, audio compression technologies, audio processing products, and uh, the, the whole range. In fact... Uh, you are saying that these, these products are coming right. from your back office or you right. call it home office, which right. is India. Right, exactly. So, so when we came back to India, it was interesting that we told people that they came from our back office, so they are in a way, as I was saying, uh, that these are Indian products. But that was considered a no-no. So for a year, we had stopped saying that they are locally manufactured. We would say these are U.S. products deployed already in the U.S., so, so hence adopt this. But uh, although they were manufactured here, I mean, you, you're seeing the irony of this thing. But now that view has changed, uh, now I see that people are more open to how tough uh, it is to scale such a big operation to reach such a big uh, market share because the radio in India itself is growing. The FM radio, the satellite radio, the the radio, the the internet radio has a very big market. What are your future plans in India? So I think uh, Pranav, what you are doing is a is a great model. Uh, I think uh, of course uh, FM is growing uh, in India. There are a lot a lot of new FM stations are coming up. But the, where the future is, I believe, is in the web technology, web-based technology. Use the power of web to uh, take any talent, whether it's in a remote village, remote town, to uh, give, give an, a worldwide audience. So this is your vision. I salute you for that. I think what you are doing in, uh, in the Tarang Radio operation here is, a, is the model of the future. So we see a lot of growth in the, 
in the web radio uh, market in the in the coming years and in fact with that in view in april we are organizing a workshop to educate the industry better that how easy it is for uh, for somebody like you to take your talent take your team and uh, uh, bring everything to the web and uh, give it a worldwide audience so that's where the future well, is viewers aap ye awaaz jadi aap sun rahe hain puri duniya mein to iske liye aapko dhanyawad dena padega shri दीपेन सिन्हा जी और उनकी टीम ए लैब को हमारा तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो या हमारा तरंग डिवोशन रेडियो डॉक्टर दीपेन सिन्हा और उनकी टीम ने इसमें बहुत मेहनत की और उन्होंने ये बनाया इसलिए नहीं कि ये एक एफएम रेडियो या एक वेब रेडियो है बल्कि इसलिए कि वी वर वर्किंग विद टेक्नोलॉजी वी वर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड द राइट मिक्स ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी स्केल इट अप एंड टू रीच द वर्ल्ड वाइड ऑडियंस डॉक्टर सिन्हा इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो दैट I mean, we we all talk about how how do we simplify what is audio? If we we used to study in our um, in our comic book and in our more in our science book that in World War II the right. sound coding was done and the decoding was done and that is when the Allied forces won the battle. Right, right. Can we? Can, that is how important the sound. and the, on the audio uh, so coding is all about right right sound is of course very important part of our life and it truly changes even when you have video if you have good sound uh, the subjective test shows that the experience of video improves so of course uh, the video audio is very important and uh, the coding technologies and the processing technologies have allowed us to bring high quality audio to every nook and corner of the world Well, whether I think that is your USP as an individual and right. company's USP when you say that uh, we we basically want to bring high audio quality at a very low bit rate. Right. How do you simplify it to the audience who who don't understand this jargon? So uh, you you may be like in a remote small town or a small village where your connectivity is either very poor or you're paying uh, a big uh, premium to receive a good data rate. so can you still enjoy the high quality audio and live audio for example coming from tarang radio how can they get the benefit of your initiative or similar initiative that's the challenge for technology company such as ours and this is where we live and breathe uh, so and to, that has been so your, your 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 phd thesis or something right of right 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 i mean in a way i'm lucky that my work has been kind of a continuation of my phd thesis often that's not the case uh you do phd in one area then you completely change your area but i will lucky <laughs> that uh, i have been able to continue working in similar technologies since this is that time so. since we began this interview you said that you are happy to be splitting your time and energy between right. two great nations right. but where does the skiing come in between <laughs> skiing yeah you have yeah. your hobby right that's what of my uh, passion or uh, maybe somebody will say ill advised passion in our family we everybody has broken their arms and legs i have had a major knee surgery but we never give up on skiing <laughs> we always want to go back to the bout just the challenge of uh, coming zipping down at the high speed through <laughs> chilly winds that gives us the pleasure or the challenge as somebody said the uh, uh bones will heal but glory is forever so that's the passion aur aapke kya kya aise hobbies hain jo aapko apni kaam ki aur ya aapki passion hai jo aapko apni kaam ki aur 24 by 7 aap kaam kar rahe hain itni sari challenges hain itne sare responsibilities hain itne sare families aapke work se benefit kar rahi hain aapke social charities se aapke professional work se aapke atc company se itni sari families they are mm-hmm. earning their bread and butter or they are earning their livelihood right. how big a responsibility is there so it is truly sometimes it's very uh, almost uh, fearful that so many people have suddenly become dependent on uh, the work that we are doing but somehow i try to uh, keep my head down and uh, i think try to get inspiration from everybody's talent so the whole team that i work with i'm fortunate to have a very nice uh, very talented team in atc labs and also in the foundation and i try to breathe uh, through their talents just on myself i cannot do do everything so the goal is to really try to assimilate everybody's talent listen to everybody and try to do the best that you can and then if we succeed we succeed if we fail we fail but let's see where the where things end up at that point yadi aakhri mein aapse puchu hindustan mein aap jab the aur aaj ab us mein hain itne successful hain ek wo kya message hoga jo aap 
अपने लिसनर्स को या अपने व्यूअर्स को आप देना चाहेंगे हाँ। जो कि उनको इंस्पायर कर सके कि जी यदि आप में सलाहियत है और यदि आपका सर आपके शोल्डर पे है तो आप जरूर अपने गोल को अचीव कर सकते हैं आपने तो 28 पेटेंट लिए विच इज जस्ट अनबिलीवेबल मे बी वी नीड अ डिफरेंट मैसेज फॉर दिटीज एंड विलेजेस बट आई जस्ट से वॉट आई सेड इन द वेलफेयर मेला जनहित मेला दैट वी कंक्लूडेड इन द विलेज जस्ट थ्री डेज अगो विलेजर्स के लिए भाई यह मैसेज थी कि बहुत से लोग हम लोग कम योग भूल गए हैं हमारी संस्कृति में हमेशा कम योग की बात होती थी लेकिन आजकल लोग अपने हाथ से काम करने में थोड़ा पीछे हटते हैं जैसे ऑफिस में कोई आगे बढ़ गया तो वो अपनी कुर्सी ही उठा के एक जगह से दूसरी जगह लगाने में की बात में शर्माता है तो हमारे पिताजी के भी ये सिद्धांत है यही हम सबको बताते हैं कि अपने हाथ से कोई भी काम छोड़ा बड़ा करने से नहीं डरना चाहिए और उसी से हमारा देश हमारे समाज सभी पूरा विश्व का ही आगे बढ़ सकता है तो ये कर्म योग जो हमारे गाँव में और हमारे शायद शहरों में भी कुछ लोग भूल गए हैं इसको हमें वापस अपने अडॉप्ट करना चाहिए यही हमारी छोटी सी मैसेज रहेगी शहर के लोगों के लिए भी यही मैसेज है या कोई और फॉर द पीपल इन इन इंडिया हु एस्पायर टू गो टू यू एस और हु एस्पायर टू एक्सल इन स्टडी एक्सपायर टू रीच न्यू टेक्नोलॉजिकल हाइट्स एंड रीच डिजी गोल हाउ दे कम बैक हाउ दे लर्न एंड हाउ दे बी डू सर्विस टू द कंट्री यू सेट दैट वेन यू आर पेइंग ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड रुपीज फॉर योर स्टडी एंड आई 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 टी there right. is lot of substantial amount was coming from the government right. you still remember till date right so the message for the kids in the cities is that don't forget what the society has given you uh, many kids forget they uh, they develop a sense of a tell tell what ki hame aur kya milna chahiye instead of that see what you have got it from your parents from your society from your school and how you can reconnect and give back that back to the society to the country india is a country in charity a lot is happening here and all the if the youth of india can make uh, great things happen and that's the challenge that uh, let's try to give back to the society and the country and the world it reminds me of that special proverb that we all keep listening right. for decades all together right. not what country gives to you what you give back to right, i think that's what president kennedy had said ask not what the country can give uh, give, it, give to you but what you can give the country so So that's what I said. The embodiment of that proverb, <laughs> I, if I may take right. the liberty to say. Or in my case, two countries, but <laughs> let's uh, let's do it for the our immediate societies. Let's uh, start small so that and our immediate community. Okay, my community, right, right, and be focused on the work. Let's not get uh, sidetracked with uh, nare baji or slogan or superficial uh, work. Let's try to do something. Even if you make a difference in the life of one or two people, let's be sincere. Let's not try to do things insincerely. Let's do things with sincerity. That's that's my only message, based on my limited experience. <laughs> no, you had such Sorry. a wonderful experience. <laughs> well, we have been listening to at this point of time. We have to say goodbye to Dr. Sina. Uh, we have been listening to Tarang Online Radio, Tarang Devotional Radio. This wonderful interview, a very thought-provoking and very early interview by a person who has already 28 patents waiting in for his name. in united states of america dr sena thank you for giving us time and thank you also for giving us such a wonderful thank you so much sanav it's uh, it has been truly a pleasure meeting you and your team thanks so much thank you